let me just start with some of the feedback that we have received. And Professor, I'll just begin with you. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying, listen, yes, we have gone to school. Yes, we have, you know, done what we are supposed to do. But there are no jobs, you know. Someone actually saying we should introduce who do you know <laughs> or who sent you as a unit in schools. What do you have to say to that? Thank you, Winnie, mm -hmm. and thank you, viewers. Mm -hmm. I think the issue that uh, the viewers are addressing mm -hmm. has to do with more of corruption okay. rather than the pertinent issues that have to do with the changing landscape mm -hmm. in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. I would want to quote a few statistics mm -hmm. because the marketplace has really shifted. Sure. In a survey undertaken in 2017, uh, it indicated that uh, degree graduates who are employed in their first year of graduation mm -hmm. had reduced from 79% in 2011 wow. to 13% mm -hmm. in 2017. Mm -hmm. And those who had graduated with their diplomas had reduced from 20% mm -hmm. to 3%. Mm -hmm. And that only 49% of Kenyan graduates mm -hmm. were fit for jobs. Mm -hmm. The landscape has shifted because there is now an increased appetite towards employing people with postgraduate qualifications, okay. as indicated in this same survey, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, by 2011, only 10% of master's holders mm -hmm. got jobs, and by 2017, 79% mm -hmm. got jobs. So mm -hmm. one of the issues that we have to address here mm -hmm. is how far have we gone with our studies? Right. How, what changes are happening in the market labs? But mm -hmm. on the other hand, uh, there is kind of a disconnect between the skills and competences mm -hmm. that uh, graduates of tertiary institutions are bringing to the marketplace. Okay. In a survey carried out in 2015 by Br the British Council, mm -hmm. it indicated very clearly that uh, disciplinary knowledge accounts for only 54% mm -hmm. of what the marketplace is looking out for in mm -hmm. this country. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have to really remember to build your critical thinking skills. Mm -hmm. This was put at 27 percent. Okay. And of course language and communication is also very uh, critical. Central, Our yeah. graduates uh, are not so much aligned mm -hmm. to the demands in the marketplace mm -hmm. because of various reasons that we'll probably interact with. Yes, as, as we go on with that discussion. All right, and of course, Dr. Emmanuel, in terms of the uh, statistics that, of course, Professor has given us, I mean, 79% all the way to 13, that is a very big shift. What does it say uh, as far as our education system is concerned, especially, you know, the tertiary and university level? What does that say? Thank you, Winnie. Mm. We, we have, uh, first of all, let me say employment is a function of many things. Mm -hmm. uh, key among them being the performance of the economy. Right. Are there the opportunities, first of all, in the economy okay. uh, for people to be hired? Mm -hmm. So our economy has not been doing well uh, mm -hmm. for the last many years. If you can recall mm -hmm. uh, how many companies have closed shop mm -hmm. between 2013 and now, mm -hmm. you would just be amazed. Okay. And all those companies closing shop, those are employment opportunities being shut. Okay. So that is one problem. The second problem is that Kenya lacks a manpower mm -hmm. policy. Mm -hmm. So when we are training these graduates, what are we training them for? Mm -hmm. uh, th th that is not, there's no guidance. Okay. Uh, I, I recall when I went to university and joined with very many uh, colleagues, we joined to study economics. Many of them actually left economics to study music because mm. at that time mm. there was very high demand for music teachers mm. and by the time we were graduating the government had already stopped music as an examinable subject That's so true. all these people are not going to get mm. posted as music teachers and okay. most of them had studied double music and education yeah so we lack a manpower policy and that contributes a lot mm. uh, to the graduate unemployment that oh. we see okay but also from where I sit now, I have had the advantage of teaching in the university for 11 years, mm -hmm. and I now have had the advantage of working in civil society for another six years, mm -hmm. and currently in a position where I interview people. Okay. There is also a wide gap between what the labor market wants and what is coming from our institutions of mm -hmm. higher learning. All right. and, and, and I can tell you that a significant part of the current unemployment mm -hmm. is also contributed by lack of mm -hmm. 
the requisite skills. Okay, so, that yeah. is required. All right, okay. So, um, Lydia, let me bring you, bring you in very quickly, given, you know, what they're saying. But then again, reading the feedback, you can really feel the frustration, you know, that Kenyans mm. have mm. as far as, yes, we have gone to school, yeah. but there are no opportunities. Yeah. You know, can we just mm. address this, this frustration? What is it brought about? Um, of course, when you have gone to school mm. and um, with high, very high expectations, yeah. and remember it's all very costly mm -hmm. because you're also paying for school fees. Yeah. Even if it is your mother who paid for school fees, mm -hmm. uh, it means that uh, some resources were used. And then after that, you cannot get employment or you cannot do what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It is very frustrating. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we have now behavior issues. Okay. Because uh, most of those people will go into drinking mm -hmm. because they are frustrated. Of course, mental health comes in because they will go into depression. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are finding in, uh, like you have talked about, uh, companies closing down. Sure. I, I happen to got, get a job, mm -hmm. but now I don't have a job and I have a family. Massive job losses, yes. Yes, I have mm -hmm. a family. I have people who are depending on me. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, killings will also come in because of mental health issues, because mm -hmm. of depression. That's true. So it is really taking a very heavy toll on the society. Mm -hmm. Not forgetting that, um, like he has said, we, we, what, 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 what we are teaching and what the job market wants are two different things. Okay. So unless somebody is very creative and they have a critical mind mm. so that they can think beyond or outside the box, okay. they will not make it. They will not make it. And that, that, that's a cause for frustration. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Amos, let me bring you in uh, in this sense. Should we change then what we're teaching in schools? Or what should happen because clearly there is a problem and there's a very very huge gap thank you um i just want to pick up from where Emmanuel left mm -hmm. the reality is that um, unemployment is uh, an outcome of uh, mm -hmm. many factors coalescing mm -hmm. and of course the schooling or rather the training a uh, component mm -hmm. is also playing a significant role towards this challenge mm -hmm. Partly, maybe because it is too specific. Mm -hmm. Yet, when you look at the job market, it, uh, it changes faster than sometimes the agility that the education system has. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm trying to look at my own transitions. And last year, when I began teaching at the university, and look at the the experiences I'm having with some of my students, mm -hmm. including rejoining, I, I I think there is there is a serious problem. Mm -hmm sitting the other side also as an employer and look at uh, what i have uh, I, I, I mean i would say that i have vacancies but i still can, can't just get the people so okay. i think there is there is a serious problem okay and as emmanuel it's not just about what the market wants but i think there is there, there is a problem somewhere there's okay. a very very serious problem and it really has got to start with the way we've defined and operationalized our manpower planning in this country. We've okay. almost done uh -huh. 